Hi, John Valvano here, and in this video, I'd just like to give a brief introduction to Lab 8. Now, the basic idea here in Lab 8 is to measure distance, okay? So, we're going to measure distance in Lab 8, okay? And so, distance, uh, D, is going to be the, um, the amount of uh, distance between some point that we define um, here, say, on this ruler, uh, up to uh, a maximum of about uh, 1.5 centimeters. And so, if I slide the slide pot to this spot, the distance here, okay, between this line and that line, um, is going to be about, uh, in this particular case, would be about 0 0.6 uh, centimeters. So, the overall behavior is we're going to have a range, okay, in lab 8 of about 0 to 1.5 uh, centimeters. We will see that even though we have a 12-bit A to D converter, uh, the fixed point number we're going to use will result in a resolution, okay, again, resolution is the smallest change that I can reliably re uh, measure of 0 0.01 centimeters, okay? Uh, and that, therefore, if you combine those two, you see that the uh, precision uh, will be about uh, 150 or 151 in alternatives, okay? Uh, which is going to be about seven bits, okay? Uh, that's the overview of what we're going to do. Uh, and so what I'd like to do is just to uh, remind you that uh, Lab 8, uh, like all the other labs, is associated with the book. That's Chapter 8. Um, we, because we're uh, running offline, uh, we've put all our videos associated with Lab 8 into the ebook, and so we strongly encourage you to watch the videos here in Chapter 14. Uh, as always, uh, reading the assignments is actually a good idea. Uh, I know it's kind of long, but we've walked you through the various steps in the lab assignment. Now, what I'm going to do here in this video is review the starter code uh, in terms of structure and format. And then uh, in one by one, uh, in subsequent videos, we'll talk about the transducer, the first software, the second software, the third software, and the overall. And so uh, to get started, uh, we're going to connect up a slide pot, that's this thing, uh, to the microcontroller. And the way to think of a, of a potentiometer is the impedance uh, is going to vary. But not the impedance between one and uh, not the impedance between one and three, but rather the impedance between two and one will vary. And so what you want to think about is if you define the resistance from pin two to pin three as R1, and the resistance between pin two and pin one is R2, the way this particular thing works is R1 plus R2, that sum is always equal to 10,000, okay? But uh, as it varies, remember the distance here, uh, the distance in the slide pot, okay, as that varies, it will affect R2. And so if you were to draw a plot of R2 as a function of distance, this is why it works, that's why it's called a transducer. Again, the distance is going to vary from 0 to 1.5 centimeters. And as it does, the resistance between R, between 2 and 1, which is what we defined as R2, will vary between 0 and 10,000. All right. Uh, uh, let me show you not how, how, to, how to not hook it up. Okay, so uh, the idea here is to hook up PD2. And we got three things, okay? Uh, we got power, we got ground, and we got PD2, and we got three pins. Well, that's like six different ways you could hook it up, only one of which works, okay? Uh, let me show you how to start a fire. Uh, so uh, this is not the way to hook it up, is if we put three volts into pin two, and we connect up the A to D converter here to pin three, and then we ground pin two, uh, something horrible happens, 
something horrible happens here when the distance equals zero. So if the distance equals zero, R2 equals zero, then this whole thing will explode in a fiery ball of mess, okay? Uh, don't build it like that, okay? The way to build it is to take pin three and tie it to three volts, take pin one and tie it to ground. That way, there's always 10,000 ohms between plus three and uh, ground. And so, and then we're gonna tie this pin there. Now, if you wanna use the oscilloscope in Texas, you tie up PD3 also there. So now, if you were to consider this as a voltage, okay, uh, an, an analog voltage, and now what you're gonna see is, uh, and again, the distance is still, is the distance of the slide pot this distance as it goes from zero to 1.5 centimeters. Now I'm gonna have a voltage here, Vn, which goes from zero to 3.3 volts, okay? And this, will, this is a linear pot, so that's a linear relationship. Uh, okay, let me show you the software. Okay, this is the um, Lab 8 starter project, and I haven't done anything to it yet, but so let's uh, review the components. Um, you will see two files that you've seen before, lcd.s LCD and um, print.s. And in here, what you're going to do is paste in your solution from Lab 7. Okay, so that's your solution to... Uh, to the low level, and then you're going to paste in your solution to outdeck and outfix because we're going to use them here. Okay, so that's the Lab Seven stuff. What we're going to add here in Lab Eight is uh, initialization. Now, Professor Yarabali showed you how to do that, so you're going to write code right in here which initializes the A to D converter, and down here you're going to write code which takes a single sample from PD2, which is analog channel five. Uh, okay. And here in the, uh, in the main program, um, we are going to go step by step through the next set of videos and show you how to test the ADD converter, to build the uh, calibration, to, um, to measure the accuracy, and then we'll do a final demonstration uh, showing you how the system works. Okay, uh, ask lots of questions, and of course, have fun.